Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect, where we are managing some mischief that's happening at the prison. Uh, for example, we've got Ashby here, and he is destroying things right now. Uh, right before I started recording, it said escaping. Um, he's not happy with his hygiene and the level of warmth that he is being, uh, that he's receiving. Um, which is weird because it's summer. Maybe this means he's too warm. I don't know. Um, I, I did some reading up on uh, Prison Architect and sort of the different features that are there um, since I've been playing before. And uh, weather is going to be a difficult thing to manage with an outdoor-only prison. Uh, and by outdoor-only, I mean that, like, the prison, the cells and stuff, when they walk out of their cells, they're walking outside. So that's going to be a pretty difficult challenge to do with weather. I may not succeed in this prison, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. We've also got some guys over here with tattoos on his face. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, all gang members will have tattoos on their face. So if I go to Intelligence, which we just unlocked, uh, this will show me the supply and demand of uh, things like tools and weapons and narcotics and luxuries. And look, look at this. Look at this. Like, all of the biggest things that the prisoners want are all in the offices. Uh, which is why we normally lock away the offices and don't let them be accessible by prisoners. Um, now, they're marked as staff only, but, like, there's not a whole lot of... Like, they could just walk through here if they want to. So, I'm going to have to look into closing that off. I'm definitely going to have to look into getting metal detectors through these areas, too. Uh, so, metal detectors are something we're definitely going to be doing this episode. But, if I go to gangs, we can see that we have our first gang member. And it is this guy with tattoos on his face. He is part of the blue gang. So, gangs don't really have names, they're just given colors, and if I, my memory is correct um, from looking into it, uh, there's, there's blue, there's red, and I think green. Uh, and so, we'll, we'll see how that, how that goes. Uh, but, today's episode is all about getting that security problem sorted out. We're going to get some, uh, some doors installed, let's go ahead and let it run. Um, I do need to get some guards kind of over here to, to manage this situation. I am going to probably hire another guard, I think, and put him, like, right here. And he's just going to go and do whatever he wants. So there's some fighting happening over here. My gosh. <sighs> it's going to be difficult. Like, this wasn't this guy? This, this isn't the guy that was destroying things. Somebody is destroying things in his cell. And that's another thing that's going to be hard is trying to, trying to manage, like, like um, what they're doing and how they're destroying things. With an outdoor prison, I don't have sort of like I don't have this camera coverage that I would normally have. So I'm going to have to manage that too. So I'm going to pause it really quick because I want to make sure that we're good with security. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some metal detectors in because I need to do that. So objects. Um, hit the little plus sign here. And... I don't, there it is, metal. We have one in storage, that's good. I'm gonna put a metal detector right in the kitchen. So like anyone who comes out of the kitchen in this direction, um, which is not towards storage, which is another thing I have to get built. I'm gonna get that built right now. Let's get uh, a brick building. And let's lay some foundation in to get our storage building settled. That'll help. And you know what, just because I'm going to extend the kitchen area, too. So we'll get that sorted out, too. Uh, then I need some metal detectors. Probably. Um, if they go through here, they get to go through one. We're going to get a door installed here. So going this way into visitation, they'll still be hitting the metal detector. I'm thinking I want one down here, too. Let's, let's get another one right here, just because. And then, uh, how about going? Actually, if they if they did something in the kitchen or the canteen or whatever, they would they would theoretically be able to get to their cell without a problem. So, how about we put another one in this hallway area here? This will cover both the storage room and the the canteen and the yard when they get out through it, because they're gonna have to go through this door. So I'm gonna actually get a canteen, or I'm gonna get a metal detector. Uh, let's say here and here. And that will cover these two areas. I should probably get rid of this door then. And this fence. Okay. Demolish the wall. And I think I'm going to actually get rid of this door. Let's 
get this going a little faster. And yeah, and so what we need to do now is I need to expand. I, I was told that I'm expanding too quickly, uh, and I am. That's why I'm low on cash. But um, if I take a look at grants, I've got to get to 50 to get this grant bonus. And I get $20,000 when I complete. This short-term investment is also going to be coming at me. Uh, I get that in 9 hours and 23 minutes. And then we have inmate nutrition research, which I'm going to actually do that now because I don't want to import any more prisoners before I do that. So let's go... Uh, actually, I don't really know how to do that. I'm not sure how to do that. Um, gonna have to look into that. Needs. Oh, so this is their needs. So they're not very warm. Prisoners are furious that they can't meet this need. They're not warm. Well, I mean, it's summertime. So they're not. If they're not warm in the summertime, then they're really screwed in the winter. Yeah, the, the weather the weather thing is gonna throw my I think the weather thing is gonna throw my uh, throw what I want to do with the outdoor prison off. So it's gonna be something to manage, I guess. I don't want to sell anything. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'll, I'll I'll look into this and figure out how to do it. Okay, so I figured it out. Uh, we're gonna need prison policy to be able to do this. Uh, it lets me increase and decrease the punishments for all types of misconduct, but it also allows me to control the nutritional policy, changing the quantity and the variety of uh, the food that's served to prisoners. So I need to unlock that, that's in six hours. And I'm actually, I'm really strongly considering going after tax relief right now, but I want to, ex I really want to expand before I do this. Like I really want to get this building done. Um, also, while I was looking around, trying to figure out how to do the, uh, the, the stuff that we were just working on, I went to logistics, and I went to temperature. And like, it's all cold, even though it's summer. Like, what does it mean to be summer? Like, where are we? Is this like Russian summer or something? I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're going to need to manage the warmth need. And I, I'm thinking I'm just going to do it, like, I'll put one radiator or something in every building. But, like, I still am going to have to worry about their cells, right? Like, these are dormitories. But, like, the individual cells, having to put a radiator in every cell is going to be a real pain uh, on my budget. But I think that's kind of the point, right? I mean, doing this outdoor thing, doing this outdoor layout where everyone has to walk outside to go anywhere... Uh, like prison town, if you will. Uh, I mean, inside a person's home, they would have a radiator. Inside their little, uh, their mini three by two apartment, they would have a radiator. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I've gone ahead and I'm going to put radiators in a variety of different buildings. I've already kind of started that. We've got a radiator going in on the, in the kitchen, which is odd that the stoves don't do the warmth for you. We got one going in in visitation. We've got one going in uh, in the hospital. Um, common room's gonna have one here. And look at this—they're fighting again. That's the guy that was escaping before. Oh yeah, and we're gonna need to get security set up. Oh, man, all right, hold on. We got—I uh, put some metal detectors in, and uh, they're not hooked up to power. So let's go ahead and get them hooked to power. And I'm pretty sure. Um, do it this way. Let's go down this way. I'm pretty sure that this is going to put us over our power requirements for this, having all these different metal detectors installed. So I'm going to add a capacitor too, just to do that. So once the radiators go in, I'm assuming they're going to need a power connection, but we'll see once the one once there's one installed, we'll see. Uh, oh, you can actually the a new feature in uh, Prison Architect. Uh, you can actually prioritize construction on something so like right now they're just kind of kind of do whatever i said to do in whatever order they get to it i guess but if i i think it's shift or control yeah control if i hold control and i click on it this is going to expedite that process it's going to tell workers to drop what you're doing and go and do that so um somebody is on our way to do that right now and uh they're going to grab the radiator and he's going to head over i think it's this one why is he going all right well all right that's okay he's gonna go all the way over on the wall because it's the fastest route i guess to get to the common room 
which is a little odd, but all right. And so once he gets this radiator, and I want to see what the kind of requirements this radiator is, or what kind of requirements it has. Okay, so it looks like it needs hot water. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> okay, does that mean I need a boiler in this room? Or like near the room? So much stuff to learn here, guys. So much stuff to learn. Yeah, these cells aren't even getting hot water as it is. So what I'm going to have to do, I guess, is I'm going to have to take this large pipe. And I'm going to spread it to here. And then I'm going to have to put a water boiler. Uh, I guess here. I guess that'll have to go there. Thankfully, I made this path too wide. Uh, and I want to expedite that. Let's get that going. Uh, how are we doing with the temperature of the prison here as far as danger? It's high and it's increasing. Of course it is. Yeah, we're definitely not having more prisoner intake. And we have all these uh, all these radiators. Every radiator I put in requires hot water. Oh, boy. All right, we'll have to deal with that. I guess I'll have to go ahead and deal with that. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm figuring out this... Uh, I think we're figuring out the water boilers and the the sort of the logistics behind keeping prisoners warm that I was not familiar with before. And is this gonna get? Oh, I need this pipe to go one one more this way. Let's go like uh, it's not this. Thing. It's the graphics don't line up with the square they're gonna be on. So like this is already hot water pipe here. So I need to go like uh. No, I think maybe that's going to be okay. The water boiler is not um, installed yet, but it is a priority, so there it is. How fitting. Uh, okay. So we have... For some reason... We've got water going here, but not... I'm confused by that. Does that make sense to anyone else? There's no hot water. I mean, I'm okay with it. If there's no hot water there. I don't really need it there. It looks like... Okay, that looks like that's how that works. So, the water boiler doesn't heat the water for the first couple of... Um, yeah. I guess that's kind of how it is. That's strange, but alright. As long as the radiators have the hot water they need. And it looks like they do. Except this one, which needs two more pipes to be installed, and then it's good. Actually, it needs this pipe too, which just got laid. There we go. We've got hot water coming to here and to that radiator. Awesome. So what I did is I installed a water boiler here. Um, let's just go ahead and go out for this view. I installed a water boiler here, which still leaves room to walk around it. I installed a water boiler here. Um, and I think that's really all I needed because I got everything I needed. And then if I go to um, logistics and temperature... You can see that uh, these rooms are starting to get a little bit more, more warm. And the prison itself, I, I think, uh, depending on the time of day, so it's 3 p.m. right now, you can see it's more purple instead of blue. So I think, like, the warmth need is going to be satisfied in certain areas. And what will happen is the prisoners will go to the common room to get warm. Or they'll go to the canteen if they want to get warm. Uh, so I don't think there will be a super huge need to you know, like install radiators in every cell, that's gonna be overkill. But um, they'll go to like, say for instance, this building here will eventually be the chapel for them to like, you know, they can do their religious thing. And we'll have some radiators in here. And then um, like all the workshops, for example, they'll have their own. So as they go throughout their day, they'll be entering buildings that are warm. And I probably should put, oh, there's one queued up right there. Um, they'll be entering buildings that will satisfy their warmth need. And I think that's how I'm going to have to solve it. But another thing I'm going to have to pay attention to because of this outdoor thing is like rain and snow is going to increase the demand that they need for, um, I'm going to pause it really quick. It's going to increase the demand that they need for, uh, clothing. So we're going to need to make sure we stay on top of our laundry for sure. And because of that, I'm actually going to put in a couple of more laundry machines. And how about the final ironing board and, I don't know, like a few more baskets. So that they can do what they need to do. And then we're going to go to logistics and make sure that a couple more prisoners work here. And I'm going to actually have 
uh, a guard inside that building at all times. I want to make sure no one's getting like getting rowdy with the uh, inside the laundry room. Uh, okay, so for security, we've added a whole bunch of metal detectors. So that's going to help us out a lot. We've also lowered the prisoner the the prison's temperature considerably because of the warmth thing. Uh, if I take a look at uh, what is it? It's it's needs, I think. Yeah, needs rate. Look, the warmth is completely gone. They don't need warmth anymore. They can enter rooms now that make them warm, so that will take care of it, which is pretty great. But we have a clothing need. We're gonna we're starting to work on that. Laundry's getting done. Uh, we have a drug need. We definitely have people uh, addicted to drugs, and. If I go to programs, uh, where is it? Right here, Pharmaco pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. All right, we can start sessions on this. This costs us $200 per session, but we can start treating drug addiction and that's gonna make, that's gonna kind of control our drug problem a little bit, which is good. Um, how are we looking with prison policy is approved now. So we can also do our food needs as well. So let's check out how that works. Um, <laughs> now I have to figure out where that works actually. Uh, not in, not intelligence, not logistics, uh, not in staff. It's got to be like one of these, right? Uh, needs policy. Ah, okay, it's in policy. Okay, so we can adjust in policy. We can adjust uh, punishments for certain things. So, for example, if they cause destruction, what happens then? Well, honestly, if they're destroy destroying things, I want you in solitary, at least for an hour. Uh, escape attempt, you're definitely going into solitary and you're going in there for like four hours. Uh, if you attack another prisoner, that's fine. We'll put you in lockdown for two hours. Attack staff, we'll put you in solitary for three hours. Uh, serious injury, causing serious injury. I, yeah, I think four hours is probably adequate there for solitary. Intoxication, I don't know how you're getting booze, but I probably found stuff. If we find weapons, tools, or drugs, no matter what it is, you're going in solitary for at least two hours. So I don't want any weapons in here. Actually, three hours. I don't want any drugs and I don't want any tools. Now, they're gonna get tools from the kitchen, but they're also gonna import tools from like calling home. So like for instance, these phones here that I put in the yard, they'll call home, they'll call home to their families and then they'll get like visitation and their families will bring stuff to them. So like, that's why the metal detectors are here to stop the families from coming in. And like, if they come through these metal detectors and, they gets, and it gets flagged, then the stationed guard that's in here can search them and, and get that stuff out of there. Uh, but also on top of that, they also have their friends and families and everything. They'll go to the edge of my property outside the prison and they'll throw stuff into the grounds and the prisoners will go out and try to get it which for now is the reason why my fence is a little bit away from the edge. Uh, and I'm gonna have a double fence. I'll have one here and here. I want to say, and I don't know this, so I'm, I'll look into it later. If I'm wrong, someone will tell me. Um, I want to say that their families can throw it up to eight squares. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think they can get it in, uh, but I'm not sure about that. So we'll, we'll look into that when it comes time, but that's another way they'll get stuff in here and it can be anything they'll throw over that fence. So we need to do periodic checks to stuff like that too. Uh, let's go ahead and let it run a little bit. We're getting a radiator here and the radiator's installed, but it needs hot water. So let's go ahead and look at that. Yep, I need to go up just a little bit more with the hot water pipe. So right about there. I think that's all I need is just that pipe right there. And every cell here has hot water. All the radiators have hot water. Everything is looking good with uh, the buildings. So I, I, you know, the learning, we're learning things, we're getting there. Um, power station's looking okay, but I think I could probably, before I forget and I run out of power at one time, I'm gonna turn on another capacitor. And then I actually wanna fence this in as well. So let's go to objects. I'm gonna put a staff door here. Um, this is a perimeter fence actually. Let's. Maybe put it here instead. Let's put it there. They'll be able to walk through like this, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, so we'll put that there, and then uh, I want a fence around around uh, the power conduit. Cause I don't want anyone like I don't want any of the prisoners getting access to the power station and then shutting down the power. 
I don't know if that's actually a thing they still do. I, I think I remember them doing that at one point. Like, look at Stevenson right here. Look at this guy. What's he doing? Ooh, he's ex. Oh, look, look, look at him. He's ex law enforcement. Where is it? Uh, character. He's ex law enforcement. Okay, so we need. Uh oh. All right, guys, we're gonna need to get ready. Oh, I can't do it while his rap sheet's open. Um, I'm gonna need to put him in protective custody, and that means I need a place for him to be protective custody. I'm gonna put him minimum security for now. He was he was convicted for arson. Um, 18 years for arsony. That's a long time. He must have made one hell of a fire. Um, or it doesn't say he killed anyone. So if it's just starting fires, like. 18 years seems a bit excessive to me, but all right. Well, I'm going to put him in minimum security for now. Uh, but we're going to need a protective custody area. I totally forgot about protective custody. And that is super important for uh, police informants and snitches that are that are in prison. As well as uh, for ex-law enforcement. Uh, because if the prisoners find out he used to be a cop, he's he's in trouble. So Or a prison guard. Ex-prison guards, too, can, can be in prison sometimes, too. If they are, like, caught doing whatever you should not be in here M maximum security should not be oh he really wants literacy he wants books oh family exercise yes i know i know we have to do all those things but that's gonna be the next episode guys we're gonna need we're gonna need to th I'm, I'm none of my plans here that i've got going on uh or have protective custody configured into them and so we're going to need to look at that. I, I might end up doing the dormitories as the protective custody. Because, like, I'm not sure I want to keep these dormitories. I don't think I like the dormitory idea as much as I like the rest of it. I need to get this building built, though. I'm wondering how much this will cost. The foundation, laying the foundation will cost me uh, more than I have now. <laughs> so, clearly not enough money to make this yet. Um, I can get started on it. You could get started on it. If I lay this in here, and then I lay this in... Whoops, not there. Um, if I lay this in here, and I lay this in here. That at least gives me a start. Oh, or it doesn't because I don't have the money. Yeah, that too. Well, I'll do this then. But, oh man, that's what we're going to focus on next episode, guys. We, we <laughs> Protective custody for the ex-police officer before he dies. Thanks for watching.